You're back. Sorry we took so long. Only because we couldn't decide on what to get. As if him and Dad want to watch zombies. Yeah, and as if they want to watch your fairy tale junk. We each chose a DVD, so you guys have to pick which one we watch. Blood and Guts. Or A Tale of True Love and Romance. You choose. Are you okay? Of course. Where's Dad? He had to go into work. At this time of night? Something came up. Well, do you think he'll be long? Because we could wait for him. Well, he said not to, and to tell you the truth, I'm actually ready to hit the sack. You going to bed? But we got vegetables on the pizza, like you said. I'm not hungry anymore. Are you sure you're all right? I'm just really tired. I think it must have been all that running around this afternoon. Uh, sorry, guys. Enjoy your movie. Thanks, my movie. Are you really that selfish? What, just because you didn't? No, I mean about Mum. She's upset. Her, her and Dad were okay, but now they're not. They must have had a row or something. But she doesn't want to talk about it, so what are we supposed to do? No one said this was going to be easy. No one said it was going to be this hard either. Just because you don't want to be with Wendy anymore doesn't mean you want to hurt her either. I thought spending the day with her and the kids would make it easier somehow. We were playing happy families, but all I was doing was giving everyone false hope. You can't be so hard on yourself. Wendy's right. I can't put it off any longer. I've got to tell them the truth. Mum, it's just me. How are you? That's good. Me? I'm... I forgot my lunch. Mum, I have to call you back. What's wrong? Nothing. Why are you crying again? Oh, don't be silly, I'm not crying. I'm not stupid. Something's definitely wrong if you're on the phone to Nana. You're going to be late for school. Why won't you tell me? Bye, Jess. Mum talks to Nana about everything. It doesn't mean that she's upset because of something to do with her. Well, we're missing something. Yeah, but not about Nana, we're not. What they're arguing about has something to do with Dad. He's the one sleeping on the couch. Dad said yesterday they were arguing about the house. So it's just stress. Or it's something about the house that's made Nana upset. Now Nana's upset too? Oh, you're so thick sometimes. What did Mum and Dad use for the deposit? Money from the bike sale and the paintings. Exactly. The paintings. Nana gave them to Mum and obviously they were worth a fair bit. What if Nana's upset Mum sold them? But if they're worth a bit and we needed money, it makes sense to sell them. Not if they have sentimental value. And I bet they do to Nana. Her and Granda must have bought them years ago. They gave them to us as a family heirloom and we went on and sold them. Now, Mum's upset. She's made Nana upset. It still makes sense. No. Evan! It still doesn't explain why Dad's on the couch. But you did get one thing right, though. I think it's time they told us what's going on. I know you've been feeling inspired after your change of fortune in the first aid course. But you wouldn't have passed if I hadn't have helped you. What? The sling you put on Ryan was so loose it was practically falling off. You fixed it when I wasn't looking. Well, believe me, I take no pleasure in saying this, but you don't have what it takes to become a doctor. You've let me make a fool out of myself in front of everyone. I'm sorry, Bella. I told Seth that he needed to look for a new admissions clerk for when I got into med school. You did it. Thanks a lot. Bella, what's wrong? How could he? I told you. You knew what he did. Well, yes. Then you 
You should have told me. Well, I'm still having a hard time coming to terms with it myself. Now I look like a big dummy. Wait, who are we talking about here? My big fat liar of a boyfriend, that's who. Who did you think I was talking about? What's happened? Luke helped me pass my first aid course. Well, that was nice of him. Yeah, but then it made me think I should be a doctor because I did really well and I started telling everybody that I was going to try and get into med school. And, you know, he didn't even have the guts to tell me the truth, that he didn't think I could ever be a doctor until after I fainted when I watched Brie take the cyst out of that lady. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? Luke loves you, Bella. That's why he helped you pass the test. That's why he couldn't bear to tell you that you couldn't be a doctor, because he didn't want to hurt you. Because he loves you. Yeah, but now it's like I can't even trust him. And it's not the first time. He should have just been honest from the start, and none of this would have happened. He's just made everything worse because he lied to me. Don't you agree? I do. Very much so. I keep going over and over what I'm going to say to the kids. And no matter what I come up with, there's no nice way to say it. No, all you can do is tell them straight and make sure they know that they're here. Good luck. Mum was crying again this morning. Did she say why? No. It started with the house. Now it's something to do with Nana. It wasn't too hard to work out from there. Hey? The paintings. Nana's upset because you sold them. No. We can get them back. Or better still, get Illa's family to get them back for us. It's her stupid fault you guys are fighting. Oh, get real. It is. They wouldn't have needed to buy a house if Jasmine, it weren't for you. Stop. It's got nothing to do with you kids. Or Nana, or the paintings. Or the house. Or the house. Go home. I'll meet you there. But. You have to tell us why. I will, with your mother. I'll ring her and Bella, and we'll meet back there. If trying to get into med school is really what you want, then you have my unqualified support. It's OK. Probably wouldn't make a very good doctor if I can't even handle one peasy little cyst. That's entirely your decision to make. And I know why you lied. Because you love me. That's true. So do you forgive me too? I guess. I hate it when we argue. Me too. But every couple does. Even my mum and dad. They've been together for nearly their whole lives and they're still together. So I guess there's still hope for us. Hi, Dad. Oh, what's the big emergency? Have a seat, Bells. What's happened? Did someone die? No one's died. But there is something important we have to discuss. Go on. Something pretty serious. It's got nothing to do with you kids. And it doesn't change the faith that I love all of you very much. Dad? No. <sighs> Your mum and I, we're splitting up. <laughs> <laughs> 